Hello, and welcome to Habits, Health, and Happiness. <clears throat> I'm Susie B. I am your host, and I am a personal trainer who has turned into a habits coach. And I made that transition when I went through a really, really difficult time in my life. And I turned the darkest, hardest, most disconnected, unmotivated year of my life to the happiest, most productive, most fulfilling year of my life. Do you want to know how I did it? Do you want to know my secret from going from the bottom to the top in one year? The secret, you probably guessed it as the name of this show, habits. Absolutely incredible what I learned in the ability to form habits. As a personal trainer, you use habits as part of what you're doing. But that year that I went through my battle with depression and came out on the other side with incredible habits that took me from a dark place in many aspects of my life to an absolutely successful, happy, and joyful place in many areas of my life. So that's what the show is about. It's about forming habits. It's about using habits to up-level the happiness and the joy and the success in your life. I want to help you overcome overwhelm, simplify your systems, and improve your life one day at a time. When you master your mind and you master your habits, you absolutely can live a life you love every single day in the present and at the same time, build your ideal future. That's the power of habits. So each day or each month on this show, I choose a theme for the month. Last month, we chose the theme of mental health. And so if that's a habit or habits that you want in your life, and you know that you need some work on your mental health, check out those replays, head to the habits, health, and happiness page on this win, win women channel and watch the replays, check out some of the habits that you can put into your life that will help you improve your mental health. And this month, the theme is the habit of having fun. This is one of the most underrated things I think in the universe and people don't consider it as a habit. But as you start to figure out how simple it is to add a little bit of fun in every single day of your life, that will help you to improve so many other aspects of your life. I'm super excited that you jumped in today because the habit that we're talking about today is one of my favorite habit hacks. I'll just recap last week's really quick. We talked about the habit of combating seasonal depression. This actually applies to any form of depression. So if depression is something that you struggle with, that keeps you from having fun, that keeps you from enjoying your life, check out that last episode after this and watch the replay to learn how you can form some habits that will help you to combat that depression so that you can get back into the habit of having fun. Again, today is one of my favorite habit hacks. A habit hack is a way to build a habit without building a habit. <laughs> Isn't that sound amazing? It is a way to get around the programming of your subconscious mind so that you don't have to put in the time and effort to make these habits happen in your life. You don't have to form those brain pathways and take the time that it takes to, to form a habit. But these habits can be immediate gratification and long-term results all at the same time. This habit is called coupling. I love this concept. It is my favorite habit hack, and it is one of my favorite things to teach. So I'm going to teach it to you today, and I hope that you pull out of this some incredible ways that you can improve your life. First of all, I want to tell you what coupling is. Coupling is when you take one thing that you're already doing, a habit that you already have, and you add a second thing to it. You add a second habit right along with it. So what this does is it makes it so you don't have to remember, which is one of the hardest things. And it is, it's just automatic. It just happens. It is easy. It makes it easy for you to get these things done. So I'll give you some simple, quick examples. Example number one, cleaning your house. All of us live somewhere and we want to keep our environment clean, but sometimes it is a pain, right? So I want you to couple your favorite chore with your least favorite chore. Favorite chore, least favorite chore. I love to vacuum. I really love the way that carpet lines look and I have a really nice vacuum that I love. <laughs> so I really enjoy vacuuming. So before I allow myself to vacuum, every time I go to vacuum, before I allow myself to do that, I also have to sweep the kitchen floor. I hate sweeping my kitchen floor. It's my least favorite job, but I always couple those two together. So that way I do something that I want to do. But before I do that, I do something I don't want to do. 
This is the habit of coupling fun with not fun in order to get more things done. I don't have to remember to sweep the kitchen floor because it just happens when I vacuum, but I, it gets done. It makes it easy. It makes it something that I know that I'm going to do. And once you've done it a couple of times, you send that signal to your brain of like, okay, this is the normal and this is how it's going to happen from now on. So as you are starting these habits, another example would be um, something fun that you enjoy doing that you're already going to do, adding something that maybe you don't want to do, but you need to do. So coupling with fun with not fun, also coupling want with need. I have a hot tub. My husband and I love to get in our hot tub and we get in it pretty much every day, every night before we go to bed. But before I allow myself to get into my hot tub, I make myself do a one minute plank. Simple. It's so easy, so simple, but I make myself do it every single time so that what I want helps me get what I need. Does that make sense? Does that sound simple and easy and basic to you? Because it is. That's the beautiful part of coupling. It's so simple. So another example would be, a lot of people do this one. Kiss your spouse before you go to sleep at night. You're already going to sleep. You're already going to do that. It's not something you have to remember to do. So add this piece to it and up-level your marriage, up-level your life, up-level your relationships. Make sure that when you go to bed, you tell your spouse you love them or your partner or whoever, and you tell them you love them and you give them a kiss goodnight. Simple, basic, simple things, but it's things you don't have to remember. Oftentimes our brains are on such high gear because we're trying to remember to do all the things, right? It's exhausting. So if you make it easy so that you don't have to remember as many things, but you can still accomplish many, many things, that's the dream. That is the goal. Here's another example from a health standpoint. Like I said, I'm a personal trainer and a lot of the habits that are going to be on this show are going to be related to your health. Because I believe that when your health is habitually successful and on track, everything else in your life up levels and is better. So here's a health habit. I am a mom of four kids and I drive a lot. I'm always running carpool and taking kids back and forth. And uh, whether you work and you commute or you have lots of little kids like me and you're driving them all around, you're probably spending some time in your car. For me, every time I get in my car, I take a water bottle. I used to keep my keys on a little shelf and right next to my keys, I would keep a water bottle. Now we have a different system, but that helped me to remember every single time I grabbed my car keys, I would grab a water bottle. And so every time I would drive my car, I would have water and I would drink, I would, I would drink and drive, <laughs> drink water while I was driving. And that would help me to hit my hydration goals for the day. I wouldn't have to remember it. I wouldn't have to think about it. It was just there. It was already set up for me. I had broken down all the barriers. There's no reason to not do that goal because I had all the stuff that I needed. I had all the, I had the water bottle and I had the time. So as you are starting to form some habits, this is a great time of year to start forming new habits, to start working on new things and trying to improve yourself. Coupling is a crazy valuable tool to help you succeed in many, many areas of your life without time, without extra effort, without energy, and without thought. You don't even have to think about this stuff, but you can make it happen every single day. One beautiful thing that happens here is once you've done it for a little while, like I said, your brain starts to understand that that's the new normal and you build expectation for yourself. So it gets even easier. Sometimes when we start like a health program or a 60 day challenge or whatever, as you go, it tends to get harder. The first week or two, you're really motivated and you're rocking and rolling. And then week three, four, five, same thing with new year's resolutions. You're starting January off really, really strong. And then by February, you're like, wait a minute, what was the goal? <laughs> so this helps you prevent that from happening. It doesn't require, it gets easier as you go. It doesn't require that you remember, remember to do this or that you force yourself to do this every single day. Once you've done it a couple of times, it gets easier subconsciously. That's the beauty of this whole coupling habit. It's all about what you're not thinking about. Your subconscious is all the stuff that happens on autopilot. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to do it. It just happens. I'll give you an example for the easier part of the water and driving. Now, every time I get in a car, I'm thirsty. <laughs> if I'm driving with someone else and I don't have my water bottle, I automatically wish I had my water bottle. Every time I get in a car now, I'm thirsty and I want to drink water. It's a beautiful thing that I have created in my life. Same thing with the hot tub situation. 
every time I want to get in the hot tub, I'm like, okay, I need to do this. And it's just one minute and it's just, it's easy to do now. The first few times I was like, oh, this is kind of a drag. But once I did it a couple of times, it got easier, it got better. And now I love it. I love my coupling habits. How do you do this? <laughs> so this all sounds great and well for me, but what you as listeners are, as, as viewers, you're like, how does this work for me? How do I do this? First, you want to think about what you want to add to your life. What do you need to add to your life? Maybe it's water. Maybe that's one of your goals is to increase your hydration. <clears throat> so what you want to do is figure out what it is that you want then decide how you can attach that to something else you're already doing. I am going to give you a homework at the end of this episode to help you form one of those habits with something I know you're already doing. <clears throat> so think about what you want. Come up with a list, write it down, think about it however you want to do this, of a couple of things. Maybe you want to increase your water. Maybe you want to increase your steps. You want to walk more, move more. Maybe you want to become a better cook. Maybe you want to become a better parent a better spouse, something that you want in your life, then come up with a tiny step that you can do daily to make that happen. That's the beauty of habits is it's something you can do every day because it's so small. These little teeny tiny changes can happen every day. If your goal is to run a marathon, <laughs> you're not going to be able to run a 15 mile run every single day, physically, schedulely. And <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't fit in, but if, on the other hand, you think I'm going to work out for at least 30 minutes to an hour every single day in order to work toward this goal, that is daily and attainable. That is a habit. If your goal is to increase your revenue, to grow your business, what is something you can do every single day to work on that? Kevin Schmidlin, that's the Grow the Show podcaster, he talks about targeted daily engagement. TDE is what he calls it. And that is little tiny things, 15 minute blocks of time that you can spend on your business every day to grow your audience, to grow your sales, to grow your reach, to grow your connections, your network, things like that. What is it that you want in your life? Sit down, write this down, have a whole thought process here, brainstorm a little bit. What do you need or want more of in your life? Then choose one simple thing you can do every single day to make that happen. Now you need to find something that happens throughout the day that you already do that will help you accomplish that thing. Something you can couple this to, something you can attach this to. So let's go back to that business, business example. If you want to grow your audience and grow your business, you want to do 20 minutes of targeted daily engagement. I set this habit a couple of months ago and I make myself do this first thing when I turn on my phone. It's one of the first tasks I need to do when I turn on my phone. And if I get into emails or if I get into messages or other things, I get distracted and it doesn't happen. So I told myself, the first thing you're going to do on your phone is target a daily engagement. And we're going to do it for 20 minutes. Sometimes when we start something new, it takes over the world. <laughs> it becomes really, really big and grandiose. I want to help you avoid doing that by giving you a little tip called time blocking. Time blocking simply means you give yourself a minimum amount of time and a maximum amount of time, and you have to pill, put the task into that amount of time, into that time block. So your targeted daily engagement, the first few times you do it, it's really easy. And, and it can, I mean, you can do it all day long because it's a new thing, right? Same thing with exercise or with water or with steps or whatever. The first day that you do something, if you don't give yourself a limit, then you're just going to go full in. And by the next day, you'll be burned out. <laughs> if you go in and you do three hours of targeted daily engagement on day one, day two, you're not going to want to do that. <laughs> so to avoid, avoid that burnout and to avoid that struggle from day to day, time block. So pick a 20 minute segment in your day whether that be the first 20 minutes that you turn on your phone or 20 minutes before lunch. Maybe you have to do this before you take a lunch break. You got to do targeted daily engagement right before, or maybe right after you get back from lunch and you're got your energy going, do it then attach it to some part of your day that already exists. Something you already do daily, put that in there, whatever your goal is target daily engagement or sales calls or something that will help you grow your business. 
let's take another example. If your goal is to get more movement in, you want to increase your steps, you want to increase your exercise, you want to lose weight, whatever the goal is, what is something you can do every single day to do that? I want to get 2000 steps more today than I did, than I naturally do. I'm going to track my steps for a week and see how many steps I normally get on a normal day. And I'm going to push myself to get 2000 more steps every day. Before lunch, I'm going to take a 15 minute, first 15 minutes of my lunch, and I'm going to walk the parking lot at work. Or if I'm home, I'm going to get up and I'm going to take my kids around the block every day before lunchtime. Then before the kids get home from school or before the three o'clock rush when you, or three o'clock slump, when you get really tired in the afternoon, you're going to get yourself up out of your desk, take 15 minutes, walk the parking lot again. That's how you're going to make these changes. This is picking a time that already exists in your life, picking something that already exists in your life and adding this to it. Every single time you do those, every time you do one of those things, you do the other thing. Every time you eat lunch, you walk the parking lot. Every time you pick up the kids from school, you take a water bottle. Every time you vacuum your floor, you also sweep your kitchen. Simple daily tasks like this can make a massive difference. You think, well, these are so small, these won't matter, but that's the beauty of it. You won't even hardly notice they're there. Like I said, my one minute planks, it's one minute. There's 24 hours in a day. I can spend one minute improving my core. Choose something that you know you need or want in your life and add it to something you already do or already have in your life. That is the power of coupling. And that is such a easy way to get around this, the programming of your subconscious mind so that you can do more in a day without thinking about it. So many of us have so many tasks and we're already thinking so hard and doing so much that the thought of one more thing is exhausting. But guess what? You don't have to think about one more thing. Just add it to another thing you're already going to do. <laughs> it's a beautiful habit. It is incredible. And it helps you to set yourself up to the habit of having fun. I attach a lot of not fun things to fun things. And this makes it so that when I get to the fun thing, I feel like I've earned it. <laughs> when I get on my phone and I just want to text my friends and do whatever, do dumb stuff that's wasting of my time, I know I've already accomplished something before I got there. Does that make sense? Does that make you understand the power you have to fill your subconscious mind with incredible habits that happen on autopilot? You don't have to think about it. You don't have to spend any time, effort, or energy. You're actually going to save time, effort, and energy by doing this, this one habit hack. So let's do another example. This is the homework for this week. I told you I was going to assign some homework. So this is the homework. One of the most underrated things in the world, in the world of health, is this is the most untalked about, the most unstructured, the most unrecommended thing that... I think is hugely impactful and hugely valuable. The research has shown that people who do this one practice for their daily health succeed way longer into later years in life and have better daily health. That thing is balance. A lot of us don't even think about balance training, right? That's just not even something that crosses our mind. I'm going to get my cardio. I'm going to get my strength training. But when are you going to do your balance training? That's something that most of us don't think about. But every 10 years, you lose 10% of your balance naturally, unless you fight back against that number. So every 10 years, you lose 10%. That's why when, as we get older, as we age, we tend to have a little bit less balance. It's nothing against you. It's just reality. <laughs> so don't take it personal and don't feel like you are behind the times if you start to feel like you're losing your balance a little bit as you age. I'm in my thirties and I feel like that, but one way we can combat, combat that, that loss of our balance is simple daily habits again. So one simple daily habit that I'm going to teach you today that will probably help you for the rest of your life. If you choose to enact this, that's the key. You have to put some action in here. This habit is called blind balance. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand up and you're going to just lift one foot off the floor, just an inch or two, just lift one foot. So you're standing on one leg and you'll feel a little bit of that wobble. Now grab a desk or a wall or something. If you need to, I want you to close your eyes. So you're standing on one foot with your eyes closed. 
If you're not doing this, go ahead and stand up right now and do it. And you'll feel how different it is. That's because your eyes, your vision is half of your balance. The other half comes from your audio and your core, some other places, but your visual is half of your balance. So when you take that away, you require the rest of your body and your mind and your ears and all of those other things that go into balance to step up their game. By doing that, you are training your body to improve your balance. Instead of letting it decrease as you age, you're actually increasing your balance. And here's the best part. This takes one minute a day. So you're going to do 30 seconds on one side, open your eyes, change legs, and do 30 seconds on the other side. If at first you feel really wobbly and you feel really unstable, that's okay. Put your hand on a wall or start with your eyes open even. Start 30 seconds on one leg with your eyes open and work up to this. This is all about progression. It's not about perfection. So start simple, start small, start where you are. If it's hard with your eyes open, give that a week and do it with your eyes open. Then try holding onto your counter and or your desk or your wall and do it with your eyes closed, 30 seconds on each side. Then work up to freestanding with your eyes closed, not holding onto anything. You'll be able to feel all the tendons and ligaments in your feet, ankles, and knees all the way up into your hips working together. That wobble where you feel unstable, but you're still able to stand, that is awesome. <laughs> Not only is this really, really good for balance, you'll feel that all the way up into your core, but it's also really, really good for strengthening your tendons and ligaments in your lower extremity. So this is one of the top injuries. This is the most top common injuries in the, in the world for all ages is sprains, strains, and, and stresses in the lower extremities. So by doing this 30 second exercise every day, not only are you improving your balance, but you're also improving your ability to prevent strains, sprains, and accidents with your ankles, feet, knees, and hips. Doesn't that sound incredible? You can fix your ankles, feet, knees, and hips in 30 seconds. <laughs> I mean, this is a no brainer. So now you're thinking, okay, so I've got my one goal. I want to improve my balance. And I'm going to do that with 30 seconds of balancing on each leg every day. When, when am I going to do this? I told you, I already knew a time of day when you do something that you can attach this to every morning and every night you brush your teeth. And what are you doing when you brush your teeth? You're standing. So guess what? You brush your teeth for two minutes. I want you, sometimes you, some of you are thinking, well, I also make my bed when I brush my teeth, or I also do this or that. I'm going to encourage you to improve not only your dental health here, but your balance and, and tendons and ligaments in your lower extremities, your injury prevention. I want you to stand in front of that mirror for one minute. You can still do one minute of whatever else you do while you brush your teeth. But for one minute while you're brushing your teeth, I want you to stand still in front of that mirror, close your eyes, stand on one foot. Blind balance, one minute, and you can do this twice a day or you can do it once a day. I do it in the morning when I first wake up because it feels good to get my ankles loosened up early in the morning. And then I also do it at night to make sure that throughout the day, whatever stress I caused, I can kind of zen myself in and, and reconnect with myself. And I take just one minute. It's a little bit of meditation also in here. All these things all at one time. So 30 seconds on each foot standing in front of your bathroom mirror with your eyes closed while you're brushing your teeth. Now you don't have to remember it. You're welcome. <laughs> so this habit hack is called coupling. I want you, your homework for this week is the coupling habit of blind balance while you brush your teeth. Check it out, give it a try and then reach out to me and, and tell me how it goes. I would love to hear about your progress. The ways that you can reach out to me are on Instagram, um, at Suzy B Life, or you can find me on Facebook, same thing, LinkedIn. I'm on all the places at Suzy B Life. So check it out there and send me a message. I would love to know how this works for you. This is one coupling habit that I absolutely love. I started doing this when I was in college because one of my track coaches taught me to do this and I've done it ever since. And it's amazing. I absolutely love this habit and I don't have to think about it. That's the best part. It takes one minute per day. It has massive, huge benefits in many, many ways physically and otherwise. And I don't have to think about it. That is the power of the habit of coupling. I hope you understand how this fits in with the habit of having fun. Is it fun to stand on one leg with your eyes closed? No, but it makes it really easy to add extra things in your life that you need. It makes it fun to form habits because you don't have to form the habit. They just show up. 
<laughs> that is why this falls under the month of having the habit of having fun. I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to see the good things that you are doing. And I want you to be able to set yourself up for success by adding these little things in throughout your day. You are able to see, you know what? I'm making progress. Even on the hard days, even on the days where you're like, what is this all for? You still know that you're doing things for yourself. Blind balance isn't for anybody else. <laughs> it's for you. But when you show up with no injuries and with better balance, you're able to do so much more things in your life with your family. Just realize that the power of habits is for you. It starts with you, but then it expands way beyond that. And that is the power of having fun. It starts here. It helps you to be happy with who you are and what you can do for yourself. And then it expands and it grows to the relationships and people around you. All right, so I want to, again, give you those um, ways to reach out to me and tell me how your habits are going at Suzy B Life on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all of those places. I also have a free Facebook group. If you would like to jump in there, this is a group, a community of people who are working on stuff. <laughs> Someone or people who are wanting to progress in, maybe it's their business, maybe it's their physical health, mental health, all those things. All these people in here are working on these things. We talk about habit hacks, just like this one. We talk about little simple tips and tricks to help each other out. We ask questions. We use our experiences to help each other out. So if you want a little bit of support on whatever you're working on, whatever habits you would like to improve in your life, jump in the Life Conscious Habits Facebook group. It's www.facebook.com slash groups slash Suzy B Life. There's that same, that same tag again. That free Facebook group is such a great resource to get you started. And in that resource, in that Facebook group, I talk about all the other things that I offer, all the other things that I do. I have a habits program, a coaching program that if you're like, you know what, I really want to improve my habits. This is a really, really great option. Check it out. Um, again, we talk about it often in that Facebook community. So you can get in there and, and help yourself to start with where you are. Start where you are, start with what you need and form habits so that that area of your life performs for you on autopilot. Again, this is all about subconscious programming so that you can live your life. I call it life conscious. My book is called life conscious. My website is called life conscious. It's all life conscious because I want you to be able to live your life conscious. I want your habits to be something that happens in your subconscious so that your conscious mind, which is what you control, which is what you think about. You can think about what you want to think about, not what you have to think about. If your subconscious is doing all the tasks <clears throat> that need to get done, your conscious then can do all the tasks that you want to get done. That is the habit of having fun. That is the power of living life conscious. Jump in the Facebook group of Life Conscious Habits and join the community today. There's also the Habits and Humor podcast. If you're like, I'm not really a Facebooker, there's the Habits and Humor podcast. Search that on any of your podcast apps and you'll be able to find that show. That is a show that will help you to embrace embarrassing moments and failures and learn something from them. And simple tips and tricks like this one about habits and how to consistently make progress in your life. I hope you guys understand the power of habits. I hope you understand the power and the joy that comes from the habit of having fun. And I hope that this today's show helps you to Make a little bit of progress, a little bit at a time every single day and improve your life and have more fun. That's the goal of the month of January. I want you to live this year, this 2022 year, having fun. Set yourself up for so much enjoyment and greatness and good stuff so that you can think about what you want to think about and not what you have to think about. That's the power of coupling. That's the power of having fun. Go to your homework, check out your blind balance while you're brushing your teeth and see what an impact it makes for you. Then reach out to me at Suzy B Live and let me know how it goes. Thanks for being here, you guys, and have a wonderful week.